So I don't usually get to do this. I don't usually get to bring you guys good news. Usually it's, you know, it's bad news, quite frankly. But um, not only do I have good news, we have earth-shattering news, folks. Jamal Bowman won. Jamal Bowman running in New York's 16th congressional district against incumbent Elliot Engel, backed by the establishment, the Congressional Black Caucus, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Hillary Clinton even. He lost. Jamal Bowman won. I cannot tell you how huge this is. This is the AOC moment of the 2020 election cycle, where you have an underdog take on a political behemoth and actually win. And at this time, we don't have all of the precincts reporting, but let me tell you the results thus far and why a lot of people are calling it. So with 20% of precincts reporting at the time I record this video, Jamal Bowman is winning in a landslide with 61.6% .6 of the vote and Elliot Engel coming in a distant second with 35.7% of the vote. So Jamal Bowman didn't just beat Elliot Engel. He absolutely beat his ass. And I love this because Elliot Engel is someone who was swimming in corporate money, APAC money. This is an individual who just weeks ago, he came to his district for the first time and he was caught on hot mic saying he wouldn't care about Black Lives Matter causes if he didn't have a primary. And on top of that, at a candidate town hall online, he literally said that the fact that AOC endorsed him is basically like a dictatorship. He said, this isn't a dictatorship. So, I mean, this is such a huge victory. And the fact that Hillary Clinton, <laughs> they had to dust off her ass, trot her back out, and he still beat Hillary's endorsed candidate. I mean, this is a really bad day for the establishment. And, you know, this isn't the only victory. We'll talk about other victories in a different video. I cannot tell you how important this is for the left. This is absolutely huge because, you know, since Bernie Sanders lost the primary, there was this notion that, oh, well, maybe it's just not, you know, time for the left. Maybe electorally, you know, they should they should give up. You know, this is what people want you to think in mainstream media. This is what the pundit class was implying very heavily. But with this progressive victory being a huge win and other progressive victories that were racking up across the country, um, I think we have more momentum now than ever. This is absolutely huge. Um, I'm almost at a loss for words right now, and it's early, but there are a number of locations who have called it. Uh, we have a political polls account calling it. It's not official as of yet, so things could technically still change. Just keep that in the back of your mind, but I'm calling it. Jamal Bowman beat him. This is absolutely huge. So we have another member of Congress who will be very vocally progressive like AOC, who actually cares about issues. Not just, you know, when it's convenient, if he has a primary or not. This is someone who's an activist, who's been fighting, who had the entire establishment come out against him, and now he most likely will be elected to Congress. And this is such great news. Um, so we don't get these uh, types of victories very often. So celebrate, enjoy it, because uh, this is so good for the progressive left. You know... You know the, you know the thing, thing. You're getting nervous, man, man.